Hi, it's Dr. Paul. I'm coming today with a brief episode on pediatric tools, what we use as a pediatrician in the office. So I'm going to start today with the ophthalmoscope. Now, you know what I- Say that three times fast. Ophthalmoscope, ophthalmoscope, ophthalmoscope. Oh, high five on that one. Nice one. Uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Um, oh, wow. So anyway, <laughs> the ophthalmoscope is a special tool for looking inside the eye. You look right through the pupil, which is the little black part of your eye, and you can see the retina, the, the back part of the eye. Very important for this. So I'm going to come up on you and get right close to your eye and take a nice look at the back of the eye, focusing it in on that. And very helpful tool for certain conditions. Uh, in newborn babies, we're looking for a red reflex, which isn't so complicated. If you've had a head injury, for example, and we're worried about a bleed inside your head with increasing pressure, one of the first signs we can see is at the back of the eye, we'll see cupping of the uh, optic nerve right there at the back of the eye. So very useful tool. The ophthalmoscope, or I like to just call it an eye checker. These fancy words, who needs them? <laughs> so the next one, this is your otoscope. Now the otoscope, or fancy ear checker, uh, we use this to look in ears. Now, I, if I had to get rid of all other tools, this is one I can't live without as a pediatrician because ear infections are so common in young children. Up through the age of three or four, uh, if you have two or three ear infections a year, that's about average. So a very important tool, the otoscope, and I'm gonna take you over to the poster uh, of, a, of an ear, just so you get a sense of how we do this. So with this otoscope, we're gonna shine the light right down the ear canal and take a look at your eardrum. So it's really important to get a good look at the eardrum and know what you're looking at. I think when I was early in training, this was harder than I thought. And parents, if you look back at this picture, the canal isn't naturally straight like this. To get it straight, you actually have to pull on the back of the ear and pull it up and away from the head so that it straightens out this canal. So a lot of times when I was starting out, or if you're a parent and you're trying to do this on your own, you're actually shining light on the canal, which always looks pink. And so you think, oh, my child has a red eardrum. They've got an ear infection. Really what's going on is you're looking at the ear canal. So when you look at that eardrum, if we'll look, maybe we can shine here at the eardrum here you'll see, you can see through it, and this is the, the little bones in the middle ear, right here, that you can see through the eardrum. The eardrum is actually paper thin, and you'll see a light reflex, and then you know you're looking at eardrum because you see the little bones, you see the light reflex, and it should look just sort of that color, a sort of a gray normal coloration. So anyway, that's the otoscope or ear checker. I've got one other really important tool I wanted to share with you. Actually, this one is not all, oh dear, the neurologists are gonna kill me. Hmm. So if you're a neurologist, you can't live without this little guy. This is a hammer. And a lot of kids love like, this. Like MC Hammer? Well, the same spelling, I believe, but no, MC Hammer's a rapper. Oh. Old school. You old enough to know MC Hammer? Can you test this? Oh my gosh, dun, 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 dun. So, okay, all right, son, settle down. This is just a reflex hammer that we use to tap on knees. So boink and you know the, the, that reflex. Kids love this little tool. Fun little tool. Often doctors will have a sharp edge on the other side of their reflex hammer. Is to that get. for when kids act up? No, no, no. That, that's, uh, that's a whole another video on discipline. And no, I did not spank this boy once, I don't believe. Mom did. All right. I have one final very important tool we use in pediatrics. Actually, I think all doctors use that. And that's your brain. Let, that's... Me, get a, let me get a focus shot right on the brain. Oh okay. my. Back all right. Work. Well, the brain is important, son. And uh, ongoing learning is critical. If, you've, if you're going to a doctor who isn't learning anything new anymore, find a new doctor. The information is exploding, as you know. Um, but back to tools. This is the stethoscope. And people don't realize you put the earpieces in facing forward. I, most people want to put it facing backwards. It won't work well. The earpieces go in facing forward. The stethoscope has two sides, a diaphragm and a bell. 
and it gives you slightly different sounds, the ability to hear slightly different uh, murmurs, for example, in the heart. And uh, very important for listening to lungs, for detecting pneumonia, for that child who comes in with a cough. And certainly anytime you're worried about something going on with the heart, this is our first tool. If we're extra worried for some reason, you may get referred on for an EKG or something, echo or see a specialist. Uh, but folks, this is the stethoscope. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me find out. We got to see what the doctors, which way do I put it in? Other way. This way? Yep. Okay. So. Facing forward. So let's, let's make sure we do it. Okay. All, All right. right. Dr. Noah. Uh, I'm not sure you need to blow on it. Just the, sharing his heart's germs. Heart's on the right side, right? Left side, a little higher, up about there. Right here. There you go. All right, you got it. And that's about the right heart rhythm given by <laughs> a famous rapper. There you go. All right, cameraman got some camera time. That's a wrap. <laughs>